Here we have a 2000 Reg Ford Focus ZTEC 1.8 in state blue. If we start with the offside front tyre. Looking at the tread on the front, you've got at least a good 5mm of tread there. Looking at the offside front tyre, you can see it is quite heavily curved and uh, slightly out there as well. But uh, the alloy is definitely going to need a refurb. You also see it's got quite a lot of scuffs around the centre cap as well. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, can't see any signs of any dents, any major damage at all, or any signs of any small dinks at all that I can see. Apart from that, you've got a few scratches and scuffs. See, you've got a bit of a scuff here on the edge of the mirror cap. Uh, quite a few scratches around the arch. Again, most of them being very light. Let's move down the driver's door here. Again, just a couple of light scratches. You can see around the paintwork there. Looking at the car park uh, driver's door edge. A few very minor car park chips at all. And a couple of scratches to the plastics there, but nothing major. Looking at the sills, they appear to be in nice condition. And having a quick look at the roof, there doesn't appear to be any sense very dense or any damage to the roof at all. Moving down to the rear passenger door, and again, looks okay to be fair, um, no signs of any damage at all. A couple of light scratches again around the paintwork, but uh, again with a good polish that shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, most of the damage being on the uh, offside rear arch here. You can see um, that's actually raised onto the paint, so I don't know if that's something uh, to be put over or it's been repaired or something that is actually on top of the paint. Just be aware of that there on the offside rear arch. And you've got a bit of paint bubbling here and uh, a little bit of signs of rust there, so be aware of that as well. And then you've got a large dent in this offside rear quarter here. You can see it is quite a large dent and it goes in um, quite a substantial amount there. And obviously a lot of scuffs to it as well and below it here to the plastics as well. That is quite a large dent, so just be aware of that. Looking at the offside rear tyre, and you've got a good 3mm of tread there. And then looking at the offside rear alloy, again we have got some curbing to the outside of the alloy there. Um, but apart from that, it doesn't seem too bad to be honest. A couple of light scratches and marks to the alloy, but other than that curb, it does appear to be in nice condition, especially for its age. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle. And again, taking a look at the rear, we have got a, a couple of dents, which I'll show in a second. Um, apart from that, you've got a few scratches to the boot lid here, as you can see. But again, very light, shouldn't be a problem in polishing those out at all. Apart from a few scratches, the bottom of the bumper appears to be in nice condition. But like I said, you've got quite a few dents. Um, as you can see, you've got one here, quite a large one, and it's... Uh, made the plastic come a little bit looser as you can see so there's quite a good dent here and then two smaller ones here and one next to it as well so quite a few small dents to the rear of the vehicle there and then moving on to the near side uh, the paint's starting to crack a little bit here as you can see and again just blow it on the near side rear quarter here if we move around to the near side we'll have a look at the near side rear tyre and again, you have got a good 3mm of tread there. And taking the near side rear alloy, a few light curbs around the alloy and scratches. But overall, to be honest, it is in bad condition for its age. And then looking down the near side of the uh, bodywork, you have got a couple of dents. Um, you got a couple on the front door and one to the rear door, which I'll show in a second. But again, apart from that, you've got a few scratches and marks here to the near side rear arch just uh, next to the rear driver, uh, passenger door a couple of scratches again to the paintwork as you can see uh, it's a bit faded here as well on the paintwork by the looks of things but uh, I'll show you these dinks a little small one here on the rear passenger door as you can see And then quite a larger one on the uh, door edge here, on the front passenger door. Just be aware of those, but again just a few marks to the paintwork, a couple of scratches to the mirror caps. 
And I've just noticed a very small dink as well on the front passenger door, more towards the door edge. But if we have a look at the near side front uh, tyre, and again you've got a good 5mm of tread there. And taking the near side front alloy, you can see a lot of uh, scratches and scuffs around the centre cap and some curbing around the outskirts of the alloy. So this one will definitely need a refurb as well. Moving around to the front, again you've got a couple of marks there on the near side front arch. A look at the bonnet. Yeah, I've got a few marks to the bonnet here. As, as you can see, slight little dent there as well to the bonnet, I don't know if you can see that. And again, just a couple of um, marks to the paintwork. Again, they are on top of the paint, almost like bubbles. So just be aware of those, there is quite a few of them. And then quite a few stone chips to the front bumpers as well. No signs of any damage to the front bumpers though, they're all still intact. So just a couple of stone chips. And yeah, I've got a bit of a scuff here towards the offside front uh, uh, corner around the, uh, the light there. But that's the bodywork, if we take a look inside. Do get this uh, sort of black cloth interior. And to be honest, it does appear to be in nice condition. Especially for your 2000 Reg, it is uh, 13 years old, this car now, so it's definitely uh, getting on. But looking at the back of the seats, they appear to be in nice condition. No signs of any damage to the cloth, really. Uh, you've got a little bit of a fade mark there on the cloth, but uh, no signs of any rips or tears. And if you have a look at the front passenger seat, having the driver's seat here, you can see very nice condition as well, with no signs of any damage, really. A few marks and stains on it, but uh, again, no signs of any damage. And the same with the front passenger seat as well. And the rest of the interior appears to be in nice condition. Footwells appear to be in nice condition as well, with no signs of any holes or anything. And the same with the doors. Now, if we step inside the car, I can show you the mileage. You do only get one uh, key with the vehicle. And if we just get it started up. As you know, it starts first time. Uh, there is a slight rattle um, as the car's in standby here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. Slight rattle to the engine, so just be aware of that. 116,764 miles on the clock. So quite a lot of miles on the clock there, uh, but no symbols on the dash that you need to be aware of that I can see. Looking at the system here, pretty simple. Uh, you got a CD there and your radio. No problems with the sound there at all, everything functions very well. Uh, you've also got aircon, you can see the light indicating there that it's on and off. So there's no problems there. And all the blowers are working perfectly fine, I have tested those, so no problems at all there. Here's a manual transmission, if we take a quick look at the documents. Taking a look at the V5, the car has had four owners. Uh, we haven't got an MOC uh, MOT certificate. Um, as that is um, at the DVLA. Uh, but we've got a print off uh, here of the direct gov. You can see all the details here, Ford Focus. Expiry date the 16th of the 9th, 2013, so it is out on the 16th of this month, so be aware of that. And looking at the service history, we do get partial service history with quite a few stamps. Uh, feel free to pause this any time to have a better look. First one here at 1494, second at 906, you got third there at 21338, 3263, 44, one at 97, and then one at 111,000 miles. So just over 5,000 miles ago it was last serviced. There you go, we've got quite a lot of service history with the car. There you go, that is the 2000 Ford Focus Z-Tech 1.8. And for a car of its age, it's not in bad condition.